Welcome back, folks. Here with meteorologist Catherine Schwamm on this Thursday morning. Catherine, uh, walking outside this morning, I saw a little bit of twinkle in the grass. Yeah, a little bit of moisture left on the grass this morning. I really want to talk about the patchy, dense fog that yeah. has formed. I feel like we haven't talked about that in a minute. It's really just secluded down to the valley. So Horsehead High School, right now you can see it. You can see all the fog. It's really making it feel a little bit spooky out there this morning for this October morning. Cars right now moving on IE6, but if you are traveling this morning, just add a couple extra minutes if you do run into the fog. Remember, it will vary as you are driving through it with the visibility. So just take some extra time. Otherwise, also grab that light jacket as temperatures are also starting off ranging throughout the 30s. Few of you into the 40s this morning. Right now, 40 in Watkins Glen, 39 in Tioga and Mansfield, Pennsylvania. We're up to 35 in Ithaca. So a cool start. Don't worry, those temperatures will be coming back as the day goes on. Just the cool start is due to some mostly clear skies we did see overnight. So we saw a little bit of clearing. This also contributed to that patchy, dense valley fog we have seen this morning. Things will change, though, as the day goes on. We'll see clouds on the increase, breezy conditions picking up, and high temperatures. Nearly 5 degrees above average, sitting at 64. By tonight, we'll be dipping down to the mild side, down to 51. We're expecting mostly cloudy skies and the breezy conditions continuing with gusts upwards of 25 miles per hour. But the gusty winds won't stop there. They'll actually continue tomorrow as our next system begins to approach and showers are likely to develop continuing through the upcoming weekend as well as these gusty winds. So tomorrow's wind gust forecast getting upwards of 20 miles per hour as we go into this upcoming weekend though we can see those gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour by the end of the weekend. So let's start off 8 p.m. Thursday night. Those clouds begin to roll in. We're going to see our next system approaching and we could see a few showers possible into the morning hours but really by the time we hit lunchtime Friday we will likely see those showers developing in the western portions of the viewing area, making their way for that 4 p.m. commute home from work and school. So especially if you live in Westfield, Wellsboro, Prattsburg, Bath, you could see a couple of these showers moving your way already by the later parts of the afternoon. Now throughout the evening, though, you'll likely see some steadier rainfall moving in from the south and will continue overnight and into your Saturday morning. We're likely to see the cloud cover sticking around to start off the weekend. Persistent rain showers throughout the day, so if you do have any plans heading outdoors on Saturday, maybe keep that umbrella handy. We will see a break in the showers throughout the afternoon, but those showers will just continue to pound us into the end of the weekend before tapering off. Most of us, though, will be looking right around a half an inch to an inch with some localized higher amounts possible. Now, once those rain showers do taper off, we will see those temperatures cooling down and highs look to sit at 48 on Sunday. Don't worry, though, they'll be coming back for the first half of next week, climbing through the 50s. However, on Monday night, we could drop down as cool as 32 degrees, making for some widespread frost possible. Play Sunshine, though, returns on Tuesday, and the sunny skies and fair conditions will continue Wednesday, and temperatures by Wednesday will be hitting 63. Ryan?